Last week, it is an episode called the We- uh, Water Devian Werewolf in Daggerford. It's a report mm-hmm. from an American werewolf in London. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so last week, uh, the Midnight Hunters uh, were split between exploring the undergrounds of the city versus Felix, who in half made his way back up in protest. And as the hunters made their way up, the remaining hunters, the, the majority of the hunters, uh, all smelly and cast the the funky spell mm. to get rid of the smell and appearances. All the brown stuff um, and everything. So they found that Felix was missing for some, quite some time. Even after they, they made their way to the dorm, they, some even went to the the investigation at the playhouse <laughs> so upon but then again one of you was so tired that just ignore everything now I'm going to sleep so off to sleep he went and finally when three of you went to search for Felix you found yourself at a commotion outside of the the gate where after some time the refugees from the outside world uh, the farmsteads the southern part from Liam's hole has made their way <coughs> to escape the ravaging monsters and lo and behold a monster was among them and you discovered remnants from after that battle you, dis- you there's actually two werewolves one battling another and he managed to drive them off into the unknown and you found some remnants that seems to resemble what Felix was wearing mm-hmm. uh, so after that you suspected the worst you made, uh, made your way to do a report to Lord Lenever and there's a one tagging along Leona among you mm-hmm. so funnily enough she went and followed you to the dorm and the tired guy finally woke up <laughs> and started inquiring oh, who the hell is this so you spent a good part of the night arguing and trying to tell about that while this Leona person just plonk at the empty bed in the corner mm-hmm. and this is where we left our story last week mm-hmm. yep. so uh, we will pick up from that interaction all right okay <coughs> so here we are uh, at night still at night so all the commotion uh, is there so Carl are you still satisfied that who this person is or are you still unsatisfied I am unsatisfied but let's assume, let's just assume that uh, you guys already don't fish me through all of this uh. alright so let's just assume it just to make things easier <laughs> to okay. ease things up alright yeah so you finally you try to resolve as best as you can to make do for the night and you spend a whole night whatever remains of the night to, to have uh, some rest and come morning two of you seems to be missing and you highly suspect Camille to be going into his exploration or investigative rounds <coughs> and also Chen Chen is not there to parts unknown maybe right. he is on some some errands or a sabbatical or uh, going to the prayers oh, maybe well he he tends to do that from time to time mm. so the three of you are there so that's shadow that's carl and that's leona okay so um i'm guessing if we slept at around two uh, and if i wake up at nine i would have enough uh, rest like nine hours uh, sorry eight hours rest so that would give me long rest then, right? 
Yes. Yay, long rest then. Oh, there's no, there's no automatic long rest button. Nope. Manually. Oh, no. Yeah. There is a manual long rest button. Okay. Alrighty then. <coughs> yeah. You, you, um, Leona, can you roll perception? Give me a second. Perception. I hope. Perception. I hope this character is more perceptive than than the previous one. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. Very perceptive. You notice Carl glaring at you. It seems like one eye squinting, another eye wide open, still skeptically looking at you. I okay, uh, am I lying down or what? What am I doing? <laughs> you, you were just uh, opening your eyes, trying to see scout. Okay, the so room, and then that's where you see the pair of eyes. Right, so one squinting. As, as I see this. I give him the international one one finger gesture. <laughs> so uh, and then I get Carl. up. All right, Carl, you got the you got the signal. I screen harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. What? <laughs> Definitely not trustworthy. <laughs> uh, Alright, so anywho, um, I head down to go grab some grub in the infirmary and then I'll uh, hang out in the Daggerford Inn. Yeah, I will go and ask Shadow, Shadow, are you sure she's, trust, she's trustworthy? I'm still sleeping. Ah, you see, sorry? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, to make up for last time. I would uh, wake up around 11 or 12. Mm, I, I, will, I will start to stop Leona. Oh, you got to stop oh, okay. All right. All right. So you will start uh, following that this person, right? Yep, As she yep. made her way from the dorm, you she went through a horse's way. Uh, uh, I would like to sneak around, make sure he doesn't follow me. Okay, roll stealth. All right, give me a second. Uh. Ow, ow, oh, no. ow, 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 ow. Oh no, what happened? That distracted you. A lot. You okay? Are you alive? Ah, I fell down. Oh no! <laughs> That's a good distraction. Oh, Bobo. Okay, yeah, 20, so. <laughs> ah, Bobo. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, Adjo. in your attempt to uh, shadow Leona, you fell down. <laughs> and in in that in that situation <laughs> squid so hard that he fell down oh god <laughs> See, uh, you should have your eyes wide open <laughs> okay <clears throat> all right okay, uh, i think hey uh who is soon yeah, are you okay yeah, just checking yeah. on you and you know what they say, right? Real, real life imitates the dice roll, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what do I need to roll? Uh, no, 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 no. You, you don't need to roll because you were squinting so hard, you fell down the stairs. <laughs> and by the time you arrive with, uh, down the stairs in a loud thud and all the thing, every available constable <coughs> and guards was looking at you. <coughs> And Leona was nowhere inside at all. Ah, god damn it! So she also uh, rolled a net twenty. <laughs> so, um, I think you somehow at the back of your head you can almost hear. Don't squint so hard <laughs> when when going downstairs. <laughs> oh god! All right, so you have lo you do not know where she went. Okay. Alright. So, you were down the stairs. Um, <laughs> well, fortunately, you you landed in such a way that you avoid any serious injuries. Which I cannot say for you in real life. Lah. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? It's, 
I mean, like, literally, what happened? Like, seriously? Uh-huh. Uh, never mind. Okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> never mind. All right. Mm. Oh, I faced that one before. And on call. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, okay, anyway. Uh, you okay, right? Okay. Yeah, Alright, so you are downstairs. Uh, but however, Shadow is still Tido Mati. Mm-hmm. But yeah. literally, you cannot... He is like that. Tido Mati, literally. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So, Leona, uh, you just managed to stealth yourself out and made your way to whichever your destination is. Mm, and that would be the Dagger Fort Inn. Okay. Uh, when right. I want to uh, be there and see if this Raimi guy is there. Okay. So, uh, you went there. Uh, you went to Dagger Fort Inn. It's still early in the morning. The patrons are milling around, having their breakfast. Some are still having their breakfast. Uh, some have finished their breakfast and went out of the, the end. Uh, it is more crowded nowadays than before. It's as if uh, people are trying to buy stuff there and then bring outside of the gate to the car- caravan grounds where the refugee camps are. Okay. And then the marketplace is still half empty and then people are just going there milling around sometimes and you can see some people are begging for money cash right mm-hmm. so what do you do you are outside of the inn <clears throat> what time is it now and now it's about 9 9 30 i hit it all right you hit in stealthily uh you wait for somebody to open the door and then you just sneak past the door just like a toll evi- toll <laughs> evaders oh no I'm one of them <laughs> uh, yeah and you're in alright so I take a look see for a secluded area or table Um, how is the bar uh, has multi levels so I can see down or is this one level uh, it is two levels. Mm-hmm. Usually, the sleeping rooms and the sleeping quarters are upstairs. Oh, okay. So I'll take a position where I am not seen, and I can see the uh, bench area where Remy hangs out. <coughs> okay, and. You try. You manage. You try to find a strategic position to observe the the spot where Lionel has mentioned Remy usually hangs out, and you did a stakeout, right? Mm-hmm. More or less. Okay. Mm-hmm. More or less. So you wait there. It, uh, right now, it is it is daytime, and you see it's just like normal people just picking that spot to eat. Uh, have a conversation uh, doesn't seem to resemble that person Remy that uh, you are holding out mm-hmm. alright so you will be waiting there right yeah uh, I do remember that he will he has a tendency to be there at around 10 so I'm sure right now it's not 10 yet okay it's not so yeah. uh, to the guy who fell down the stairs call Carl, are you there? Yep. Can you hit me? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. you. <laughs> so what do you do after you fell down the stairs? Now, my character has no idea what happened. So I have to wait for further to look. Uh, sorry, cannot hear you a bit. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, yes. now, yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, so basically my character has no idea what has happened that night, so I have to wait until Shadow wakes up. So I'll be waiting for Shadow. Okay. So Shadow will be in one one hour plus away lah, from waking up. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you're in there, so you'll be taking some something to eat. And then, okay, let's go to Leona. So you wait and wait and wait. Mm-hmm. And then, finally, 
you notice something interesting. Uh, there is a person that just oh. entered. Okay, can you roll perception or investigation on this? Okay, perception, okay, perception, sorry. Perception first. Okay, give me a second. Perception. Wow. So this person see, is quite familiar because you noticed this person yesterday at the caravan grounds oh. outside of the gate. See, this person is somebody that, that you notice at least a feature that you briefly noticed before at the caravan grounds he seems to be trying very hard to disguise himself or put his hood uh, over his head but there is a strange familiarity to his the way that he walks hmm okay and this person seems to uh, go towards the usual table where the corner where Remy is supposed to sit, seeing it is occupied by someone else, just went to some other empty empty table. All right. I wait for a bit to see if anyone joins him. All right. So we waited and waited, and after some time, the the table where that couple. Uh, has eaten, uh, finished eating and got up and this person straight away uh, made his way towards that corner, that table, mm -hmm. even though the, the plates are still there, untended, but even the, the bartender, uh, the waitress has not cleared up, he just sat there. Hmm, okay, interesting. And you saw uh, one waitress finally made her way to, to clear the table. Seems to be talking to him or something. As you, 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 have, you might venture a guess that she's asking whether he would like to order something. And nodded, nodded. Pick up the, all the plates, the empty plates, empty dishes. And went <coughs> towards the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And now this person is alone there, maybe waiting for his food. Alright, hmm, okay, so... Hmm, okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait for a bit, like, I'll just wait for him to have breakfast and we'll see what happens there. Yep, about 5 to 10 minutes later, by now it is almost 10, the, <laughs> the waiters came by back with a plate of um, eggs, muttons and something hot. Uh, well, not, not the waitress lah. Oh. <laughs> something hot to drink mm. to this person. <gasps> so he put it there. She put it there in front of him. He just nodded. Okay. Alright. So... Is he eating? Strangely, he doesn't seem to be touching his the the meal at all. I see. Is he looking at me? No, he seems to be just looking towards the entrance of the sh the shop, the inn, the front door. Mm, all right. I'll wait for a bit then. Sorry. Uh, does he notice me? He's, well, it's hard to say because his scowl is uh, pulled in front of his eye. So it's very hard to see. And this <coughs> corner is a bit of a shadowy, unlike the, the places where it's near windows. You just notice him doing what he is doing. Maybe he is just looking or not you are not sure whether he notices you or not i see okay <coughs> okay 
All right, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to wait for a bit. I'm just going to wait and see what he does. All right. After some time, another ten minutes pass. By now, it's more. Uh, it's about ten o five, ten ten. He seems to raise his hand to call up somebody. One of the waitress. Well, not waitress. Seems to be somebody young. A young lady uh, answered uh, his call, and he seems to be talking about something. To her, she just noticed he slipped something to her. Oh, okay. Um, is this young lady Emily? Do you know who that is? Yeah, I should. Like, I think Felix would want me to take care of her. Well, it's very interesting because uh, there's no Emily. That oh, Liz. Felix ever. <laughs> man. Uh, Liz, like you and your ease, man. You and your ease. Uh, yeah, it might be somebody we that that resembles what Felix has mentioned to you before. And this stranger just got up and went to the back door of the inn. So wait, this stranger or the, the girl or the um this person I'm uh, eyeing? The, the, this person just went towards the, the back room. Maybe that's where the toilets are. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So he's going to the back room. He slid some stuff to the girl. Young. Okay. Oh, boy. I'll tell the guy. Okay, you went up. Okay, you make your way there. And one of the rooms, okay, at, you know at the back of the, uh, the inn is uh, where the latrines are. Mm -hmm. So he went into one of the things marked guys mm -hmm. and the door is closed how many people can fit in that room one or two three three i'll hit in as you are heading in okay uh can you roll okay um let's see let me do something here <laughs> oh no. Okay. Alright. Hmm. You went in and <coughs> coincidentally there's somebody as soon as you open it, the door oh. inwards, you man you just push it into somebody's face. Oh. <laughs> Is it another is another person, bearded com <laughs> bearded man? Okay, um I... Whoa! Why what are you doing? I'll I will i will uh, I'll do the. You're, you're not supposed to be in here. No, I, I'll do the uh, hit is, down thing with the cloak you, thing and, say, uh, and doing my manly voice. <laughs> sorry, there, sorry, sorry. Hey, you don't. Uh, the. The. Deception? She. Okay, roll deception. <laughs> 39. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Oh, and then the guy just look at you. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. I don't want to have any trouble, whether you you call yourself a he, she, or they. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> going into this political bullshit. <laughs> That's it. That's all. So he he, he he just spat into the sink and then he just went out. <laughs> all right. So um, there's three washroom closets. Uh, two would be free. One would be occupied, right? You do not know. Why don't you do a investigation? Right, let's <laughs> let's see. You know what? Uh, what do I see inside first? Like a uh, tree. You did say tree latrine, so there's yes. 
So wait, latrines are the standing one where people, the people can see, or it's just the washroom closets? It's just a closet. So three, all right. So basically, there are three washroom closets. Uh, I, I'll take a look, see underneath the stall for legs. Right. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, this would be interesting if someone just, just opened the door and like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what the hell is it doing here? <laughs> So, uh, do, do I roll yeah. investigation yeah. on mine? Yes, please, yeah. please roll investigation. Oh, yes, that's investigation. Alright, let's see what the hell. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a 1d20. Okay, 1d20. Okay, okay good. 12. Okay, I win. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> As soon as you uh, went under and to 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 check whether you can see legs or not, <laughs> one of the the the, the stall door open, and somebody you 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 that somebody suddenly whoa, what the f? Uh, is this the is this the guy that I'm telling? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Sorry about that. And the, the, the guy was saying, Oh, that's anticlimactic. What it's... the heck are you doing? Certainly not you. Get out of here. Just glad at you. But then again, he is in a very um, compromising position with um, his pants down and trying to uh, tie it back up. And there's suddenly um... somebody <laughs> at the floor <laughs> in front of and right. I, I'll just say to him, nice tool. I'll, I'll try and find you later. Like, he's still confused. Well, what the heck is going on? So it was not something that he expected going out of the loo of the stall. Right, so right? Um, I, I did roll really high. So um, how do I do I see any other foot in the latrines? Like, no. No. So the toilet is empty right now. Yeah, it, it w- one of the stall door is closed, but you don't see any foot. You're looking for feet, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. One is uh, the two now is confirmed to be empty. One is one stall is still closed, but your investigation revealed there's no foot. I'll try and slowly nudge the door. And. It seems to be something. It, 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 there may be a latch inside. It's not opening easily. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Boy. Shoot. You just match, right? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh... Let's see, what can I do? I am going to grab a bucket and fill it with water. And I'm going to um, just throw it over the latrine and just uh, once that's done, I'll just go near to the door. Okay. (laughs) All right. I think we know somebody who used to do this in in school or something. <laughs> I've anyway. experienced it, or I've been part of it some in some shape or form. I don't remember. Okay, fine. <coughs> okay, um, you try that. Um, recalling your time being well, whatever that you do as a ruffian or hooligan or something like that, mm-hmm. you <laughs> threw it simbahi. <laughs> yes, into that. No response. No response. Quiet. All right. I'll go to the door, and can I lock pick it? Yeah, sure. So I'm going to try and lock pick that door. Uh, oh. That would be. Uh, 
Huh. That's interesting. Why did it give me this? Let's try. Uh, lockpick would be dexterity, right? Or my. There's supposed to be a. L Isn't that supposed to be a. Light of hand. Ah, slide of hand. Oh, yep. not the. Oh, okay, because it. It is a slide of hand covers everything, <laughs> lots of things. Oh, yeah, true. That. Okay, uh, slide of hands. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um. Lucky for you, you don't have to need any lock picks. You look at it, you can just use a dagger or something to just <coughs> pull the latch up, mm -hmm. the latch, uh, and then it opens inward. Alright. It is empty. Well, it is empty and wet. Okay, so um, I'll... And, and smelly. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to take a look, see for any markings or anything like that. Okay, investigation please. Investigation. That twin? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, shit, man. Oh, really? No, no, no. The, the thing is, you see, the, the investigation is end-to-end uh, -end of the spectrum. <laughs> one is net 20, one is net 1. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I, need, I need to turn on my app as well. I need to use my app. <laughs> I'm not using app. I'm using desktop. <laughs> I need to use my app. <laughs> Alright. Well, it seems like it is something that that what was left are stains and things that has been caked over for something nasty. I think there's uh, traces of corn and lots of things like as if uh, pe the last person who used this really had a uh, diarrhea or something. Mm -hmm. So are there okay. any and um? Secret words or anything like that? Or secret passages? No. Oh. So, is there another way out of this room? There is a... Uh, there is an, another window there. Enough to fit That's one person out? Most likely, yes. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, um, I'll... And, and, and the window <laughs> is right above... The last stall. The one I mean yeah. right now? Yes. Oh, fuck. Okay, so he does notice me. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna go and look for the young girl that uh, he gave something to. Okay. You spend some time, about 15 minutes inside this. By now it's about 10.15, uh, 10 10.30. And you went out. You tried to find the, the, the girl that he slipped something to. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so do I find she's her? She's there. Hmm, okay. Yep. I'll uh, I'll push her. So saying, hello there. Um, if you don't mind me asking, um, what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> well, now I go by many, but mm, right now people call me Leona. And yours? Liz. Lisbeth. Lisbeth. Oh, so you're the one. Um, Felix been talking about stranger danger she she suddenly so and then she went she ran she ran towards Lionel Lord. that doesn't make sense the fuck stranger danger <laughs> she's still a kid but working in a tavern <laughs> mm, well Suddenly, this, this person is okay, okay, what's your name? She you works in candy? the devil. You, you want some candy? Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 okay. Nah, she just went to Lionel. I Lionel. Lionel was looking at you. You there. Hey, Lionel. Hey. Hey. You the one who last time came in here and talked to Felix. Yeah, and I, well, <laughs> and then, I opened a tab with you. Yeah. Yeah. Why is Liz suddenly? Uh, <laughs> did you surprise her or something? Not really. And like, no, it feels, Liz was just there. It feels like the universe is just fucking with me right now. <laughs> ah, yeah. Liz, Liz, come, come. 
Oh, why are you so startled? You work in a tavern. <laughs> why are you so sensitive today? I think. And then Liz just uh, came back out and then meekly look at you. <laughs> And then he she she motioned something to Felix, and then she whispered, "Ah, uh, no, I mean Lionel." She whispered something to Lionel's ear. He's like, "Oh, Can, do I hear what he she say?" Well, she she's whispering, and then Lionel just uh, motioned you to come closer. Okay, I do. What you be doing in the men's room? <laughs> I, I take a look, see around, to left to right. Lisbeth saw you went inside the men's room, and then some of them looks to be exiting. <laughs> Two of them, you see, saw that, and then you spent a lots of time inside, and then she hear she went outside of the men's room, and she hear water sloshing. What you be doing inside there? I I go in closer. And I talk to him. Uh? I'm doing some investigation into oh. Felix's disappearance. And remember the guy that went, uh, came in and ordered food but didn't eat anything? Yes. Yeah. Such a waste. I know. And here's the thing. He was there at the... Do you know the refugees are freezing and starving outside and he's wasting food? Yeah, and he was at the caravan. I order. He was at the caravan grounds yesterday and he turned into a well let's just say that uh, let's just say that glad he's kind of docile in here if not trouble would be had oh stranger there mm. and i think he works for i lean in even closer and say remy Ooh. I see. And I so think he might have skipped the bill. <laughs> oh. Then, then, uh, oh. I don't think so. I think this is what he paid to Lisbeth. I think oh. he's quite generous. And then he shown a, a gold coin. Ooh. I see. Yeah. Well, all right. At least we know that he doesn't dine and dash. Well, luckily. Hmm. All right. I think I think uh no, I think I asked Liz to pack up the food that he did not even touch, to yeah. be donated to whoever is deserving. Yeah, that's that's a great plan. And add five more to that. Five more to what? Yeah, um, meals for the refugees. Ah, ah I, I see. We'll call it happy meals. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that might be infringing on something. Let's, let's just call it... Uh, let's, let's just call it... Um... <laughs> um Non-depressing Unha meals. Un unhappy meals? No, non-depressing meals. Semi-happy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Semi-happy. That, that could work. I, I feel like there's a market there. <laughs> or, or we call it apathetic meal. Yeah. That's it's, full of it's full of apathy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We, 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 we can snowball it. We can snowball it. Okay. I think we can. We're on to something. I think you have a good marketing sense. Yeah. Young lady. But anywho, um, just take it off my tab and I'll uh, get out of your hair. Thank you for today. And sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, one more thing. Hmm. Try to stay away. I think that the lady's room is right beside it. Uh. I don't care your orientation, but there's <laughs> been some people out here don't take that new walk thing kindly enough all right then noted i i try to be open but we don't want any people complaining there all right then. with all these acolytes 
and zealots calling out on for conservatives, <laughs> all these conservatives. Oh, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry to be a boy, and I hit up. Right. Okay, Take so care, I don't know, like. I, and then uh, as you make your way away from like, you know, I still like the name Happy Meals. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> A certain clown might come in with a baseball bat. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. And off you go out of the inn. Mm-hmm. I am, you know what? I'm going to do the responsible thing and try and investigate the back. And if All you right. want to shift to another person, go do so. I don't mind. Sure. Okay. By this time around, I think it's by it's 11 already. 11 plus. Shadow, it's yep. time to wake up. <laughs> yep. And what do you do? As I wake up, I just uh, prepare all of my stuff, ready my gear, pin and all that. And then I walk walk downstairs to have brunch. Alright, and downstairs you you found your friend, Carl, <laughs> with a slight bump and bruise on his head. As I went to get coffee, I just asked him what happened to you. <laughs> I asked him, do you, do you trust that woman? Ooh. She seems very suspicious. Yeah, Are you sure not. we can trust her? Yes. Well, I do not. It's, it's not like that I trust her, but we currently are down by one people. So if she states that she's a friend of Felix, maybe we could try to work with her, but as for now, we need to focus on the matter at hand. Uh, what's the matter? Well, there's... I explained what happened yesterday, the fight with the werewolf and all that. Okay. Now do you get it? So yes, yes. Leonard claims that Felix had turned into a werewolf. Hmm. Now that's a pickle for us. And we still need to find a way to solve all this problem and then with all the echo like uh, it's uh it seems like a far fetch for us to meet the Duchess. Yeah, so it's a huge mess. We have to deal with the monster near the port. We have to deal with the monster near the port. Now our friend Felix is now a werewolf. I mean, we can forget about the monsters for the time being. As, like, uh, we went to see with Captain Commander Lanavir yesterday. And he hmm. told us that the Crusaders, the Palad- Templars are heading this way and they are planning on having a surprise greeting for them. So I'm sure to say that we're going to see a civil war happening in this town. I see. So what do you have in mind, Shadow? And that's the thing. We usually follow what Felix have to say. And as for me, I, 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 all I did was investigate based on the monster, but we haven't touched on the people that might be connected to it. Like what is happening with the temple of Latanda. They are curling Latanda, right? Jeb. Yes. Yeah. They are currently taking, like, taking over the power of the town, as we can see. Mm. Should we go ask Commander Daniver if he has anything? That is true, but, but if you notice, the monster encounters are pretty dwindling since the Icolite take, is taking over the town. That, that's got me thinking 
are they the one for letting all those monsters loose and trying to set some sort of power struggle in this town? I feel like it's unlikely. I just remember we were the ones that. <sighs> that's, that's the problem. That's a problem. But and you know we we do need we do need to see what is happening inside that temple and it, it is very hard for us get some sort of glimpse in there. Ah. Uh, and as I just explaining this, I just making some like scramble eggs or something, and then as I talk, I just munch in and drink my coffee. Okay, yep. You did all that. You while you were explaining, you are, you are very a good multitasker. You were explaining to the the guy with the bump on the head about all this thing that transpired. Um, and then after that, while you you are that you are making yourself breakfast. So it's a hearty breakfast, except for the there's no Milo. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But tell you the truth, I'm I'm at loss. We 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 can. That's I cannot think of anything else right now. So if we like want to continue on the investigation, what are we trying to search? Same here. Maybe we should ask Commander Lanima if he have any leads. Again, he is. It's depending on us, all the leads, because all of the information that he knows, most of them are rely rely by us. So now currently we have like Felix told us that there's something with Lady Emily that we could check, and there's something right running over in the temple of the Thunder. Um, mm. In the... I'm just curious right now. There's a lot of things happening, but we cannot yet what is connecting. Cannot, like, cannot see the thread like, with all this. Uh, but anyway, I thought that maybe I, we could. Just stroll around for today. Let's see what is happening. Sure, that's, that's, that's maybe cool. upon maybe, the top of night. Maybe we can, we can go around town looking for clues. I guess. Mm. But maybe around night time, we can have some sneaky business around here to see what is happening actually. So what and do you do? That, hmm. I finished my breakfast first, and then yeah, uh, I guess we head to town. Just walking around, to see what, the what. Is the current station of Dagoford, current. Currently, the the snow is falling heavily in Dagoford. You can you notice the 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 townsfolk are very tense, right now. Okay. And, and even the acolytes, the red robes acolytes, are just milling around, just nodding and moving among the pe- the people. Not as vocal as before. Maybe it's they like did they a are... happy meal. Mm-hmm. It's not as vocal as before. They just want to establish their presence, and then they but they are not really preachy somewhat. They just uh, go around milling, and they seem to be heading. Towards the main gate, heading towards the caravan grounds. Mm. Uh, can I have a head count of the acolytes? Okay. You notice that is there are about five of them at different parts of the town. Uh, one is heading from Horses Way, or one is from High Road, but they seem to be making their way towards the drill field. Okay. Oh shit, starters. What? Whereas the the other townsfolk are just um, milling around, they are uh, doing whatever business, but in a more subdued manner. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, this is advantage thing. I'll me, yeah. Maybe we'll try to follow the acolytes at a distance. Just to see what. But uh, they are up to. They okay. Most by now it's about eleven thirty and almost noon. Uh, you are walking and then they are just walking steadily towards that. And then sometimes they just saw somebody that they they think they need to be saying something. They just say, uh, "Fear no evil. The sun will guide you." Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Right. Okay. And okay. And pretty soon you almost find your way towards the Daggerfort Inn. All right. <coughs> Three of them have start converging into a single line, single file. And they were making their way towards the carab- the the gates of the caravan guards, the caravan grounds. The the town guards look at them uneasily. All right. Yeah, I think I'll follow them for a bit. Let's see what are they are trying to establish. And, and pretty soon, you notice uh, another two or three now of the acolytes are. Uh, Suddenly converging from other parts of town to be near the gates. Now there's six of them. Just sit standing there, as if expecting something. At the gates. Yes, at the gates. I'll blend in with the pupil that's trying to like see look uh look see on the. Marketplace, like trying to buy something or trying to find something. Can Shadow and uh, Carl roll perception? Okay. Give me a second. Oh, uh, what do you want to ask? Do, do I see uh, any acolytes that are no, isolated, like just one guy there? <laughs> it's a whole bunch of. Uh, it's, it's, it's now a group there now, converging. Yeah, but I mean, I mean as they converge, are there any acolytes that are no, that one that are isolated? <coughs> You notice one that is just coming up from the direction of the playhouse. Mm. Oh, mm, interesting. I shall try to approach him. Wait, but before that, let me, let me go my. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you guys, by the way? Like, I remember you guys just head out of the uh, dorms and then head to the yep. drill field. Like, <laughs> to make it short, we just run around town, following all the clubs that we can see. Okay. And then make our way towards market. Oh well, peace. <laughs> I I thought eleven is low. Turns out, <laughs> low. Like one. You were, yeah. okay. You were so intent of, uh, on the acolyte that that seems to be coming out that you notice from afar, from the grand playhouse. You try to approach him, and. Leona, can you ro- roll a dexterity saving throw? Oh wow! Um, I I would like to ask because uh, when I went out, it was ten thirty, and when I went there, it was what like ten thirty five so on. No, so yeah, but then again, you took some time inside the investigating oh, the the stall. <laughs> so okay, so uh, time wise, uh, how long did it took me to investigate the back? <laughs> the back, I think, by by now it's around twelve. Oh. And then you you had some some exchange with uh, Lionel mm-hmm. uh, and, and preparing the happy meal <laughs> so to speak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, as in arranging that uh, Lionel will be handling all those. Mm-hmm. But you do took some time there, so I think it's about almost twelve. Okay, so I didn't manage to go to the back and investigate then. Okay, you know you by okay. Then after that, you went to the back, mm-hmm. and you wrote investigation first. Okay, give me a second. Mm-hmm. I will go, uh, Carl. I will come back to your one. What do you do? <laughs> okay, investigation. You notice some stains at the walls. Yeah, at the wall, from underneath the open window. Mm-hmm. And. Okay. 
and oh. it seems to be made by something maybe a shoe or boot that was scraped with the excrement mm. from the toilet mm. <laughs> Ew. Ew. which is well in your investigation it look it doesn't seem to be a natural part of where it's supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> it's too seems too high for somebody to accidentally <laughs> it doesn't seem right. to be accidental so uh, is there any footprint leading to anywhere yes all right it seems to be leading towards the grand playhouse I direction see. all right So this is where I want to go to the Grand Playhouse. <laughs> Then suddenly, uh, what what was the right. thing you asked me to do? What okay. kind of save? Ah, uh, can you roll a dexterity saving? Ah, uh, saving through dex. What the top? Fourteen. Cool. As you okay, you notice ah uh, the boots heading towards that, and as some suddenly you almost sense there is a person almost bumping into you mm, almost almost bumping into you I move aside <laughs> yeah, yes uh, this person is totally oblivious of you mm. but you do recognize this oh, to be I... the person squinting at you earlier in the morning I'll just keep my mouth shut <laughs> and okay. let him be let... Okay. you know what Lamau I, I'm gonna let him go first. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Does a uh, shadow notice me or no? Ah uh, no. No. All right. Shadow is is intent on the the groupings of the acolytes. Okay. Now, so hmm. um, either I could follow the trail, or back shadow up. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> choices. 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 And you notice this squinty guy, <coughs> person that named Carl seems to be intent on moving towards a person in red robes, coming up from the Grand Playhouse. He seems very intent, and he doesn't seem to be noticed anything else. I. It's either he, you you have some ideas. Maybe he is intent on going into the Grand Playhouse, or he's intent to <sighs> what's approaching that person. So either way. Should back him up, but uh, okay. How how okay in this scenario? Who is sorry in this scenario here? Who is likely to die? <laughs> Not trying to attack. No, I mean like who's fight. likely to die if there's a fight? All of us. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> who's the tankiest among the three of you? Uh, None. <laughs> I'm just thinking like. Should I stick with Shadow or should I stick with Carl? Like, okay, I'm going to stick with Carl. Like, he's going to where I want to go, so yeah, he'll be distraction then. I follow back. <laughs> so you went to which direction? Uh, I follow Shadow to the Grand Play House. Shadow, no, Shadow is sorry, uh, um, at the marketplace. Uh, Carl. Carl. Okay, Carl. You are so intent in approaching that that singular acolyte. And uh, that acolyte was just uh, fixing something. Maybe his his ropes are a bit uh, unkempt. Uh, he's trying to tidy things up, but it seems to be a big meek, trying not to uh, make any conversation with anyone around him. Okay, <coughs> I go up to him and greet him. The blessings of Latander be upon you, my brother. He seems to be taken aback. Suddenly, he's like, "Whoa, whoa." What? What? Oh, oh, yeah, left hander. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. sure. Uh, okay. Blessing be upon you. Ah. Lol. Seems to, okay. Seems to be a bit flustered. You, he was so sudden that he is very flustered. Seems to be. Oh wow. Huh? Oh, okay. yeah. I have a suggestion. I, as he is flustered, I will activate my ability, my spell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, tell me um, what, what's the temple been up to, and why are there so many acolytes gathering? Can I can I DC DC fifteen right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, DC fifteen. <laughs> uh, do you need to take a DC fifteen? Ah, uh, yeah. No, take uh, it. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh wow, that one. one. <laughs> these, yeah. are the droid, these are not the droids I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 okay. Let, 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 carry let, on. Carry on. <laughs> Move oh. along, move along. Oh, have you seen the Family Guy version of that? <laughs> oh no, Robot Chicken. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> hey, okay, okay, what are you trying to suggest to him? <laughs> Can, you... <laughs> Can you tell me what are the temple's plans in this town and why are there so many acolytes gathering together? Also, <laughs> what are you doing inside the playhouse? Wow, so many. It's like a uh, interrogation on the mm. street. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for, um, for for this for this case, he he will think more like a conversation that he will not will not understand, right? He won't he won't remember it. Is, okay. Is it, oh, suggestion. That ah, uh, yeah. You can even ask ask the guy to give you his horse. <laughs> he won't remember why he gave you the horse. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's a Jedi mind trick. <laughs> Oh wow, we can make a Jedi See? class. Cool. <laughs> See, it's a Jedi yeah, mind trick. No, no. War- you... Ability of the Warlock. Yeah. So these are not the droids you you're looking for. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> the order is coming today. Soon. I just see that. Don't you know? Salvation is coming. The orders are coming soon. <coughs> And. I'm just preaching to the masses inside the playhouse. Do you know what, be... what are the plans? What are the plans of the church? What is the thing? Yeah, concentration up to eight hours. Okay, Ooh, eight hours though. Oh, so. oh yeah. yeah, they yeah. they can have a conversation then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Can uh, have a while this is happening, I'm going to pull up my hood and head to the grand playhouse. Okay. <coughs> You were uh, okay. Uh, can I you roll a perception, Carl? Yes, just, just checking. Alright. Wait ah, wait ah. It's a bit laggy here. Let's do it. Perception roll. Okay, let's go. Fifteen. Oh, oh yeah. Fifteen. You are uh, having a heart to heart conversation with this person. <laughs> But also, you also notice a familiar figure that you have been squinting for quite some time, moving past you towards mm. the Grand Playhouse. No, not not important now. Now, now I need to talk to this guy. This I feel like this is okay. more important. You mm-hmm. notice, yeah. You you think that you know that this is as the the person that joined your party <coughs> recently, and you. But then again, you just let it be, and. You focus in, intently on the uh, this person that you are having a conversation. Yes. All right. So this okay. Let let's go one to one first. Uh, Carl, you are talking to him. You are asking all this. The church. Uh, no, we will. Is okay. You are asking what the church plan. We will have order. All of this thing will need to be sorted out. The order is here to assist. To instill order, that's why they are called the order. <laughs> hmm. Once you receive this order, you write it down on the paper and send it to the barracks. Ah, uh, under my name, Carl. Carl who? Carl Marx. Carl, just write Carl and send it to the barracks. The barracks, eh? Yeah, this one, right? The 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 place where we stay here, right? Oh, this thing here, right? Oh, sorry, here. Uh, Is that the barracks? That's the barracks, right? The barracks for the soldiers there. Eh? I thought it was already written. Here, right? Where did you ping? Yes. Okay, dorms, yeah. Oh, those are the dorms. Yeah. Okay, there's another place <coughs> called the barracks. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I suggest to him to, you know, just, uh, you know, once he got the order, write it down, and then put it in the barracks under my name. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Sure, sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Have a good We day. will have order. Putin will bring order. I mean, uh... <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I need to edit out. Well, no. <laughs> Mommy, I need to edit this out. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs>
I think he he's having a really ah man banyaknya kena censored. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the meal. <laughs> uh, okay, so well, sure, why not? Since you are so into order, I love order so much. <laughs> <laughs> Order I don't care how, how many ch- men, women, or children I have to kill to have order. <laughs> oh shit, that sounds bad. Well. <laughs> I think so. The tender will be upon you, my friend. Yep, and then he noticed something. He His zippers are undone still. Anyway, then he <laughs> his, he tried to cover his rope so with that, uh, and then he made his way there. Back to what's the marketplace where the others are congregating. All right, so <laughs> all right, Leona, you are hmm. heading towards the Grand Playhouse. You walk past the two person deep in conversation. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, okay, all right. I'll head to the entrance and. What do I see? Can I go in or do I need to be stopped? Okay, this time around, it is wet daytime and I think it's quite a busy but a bit more subdued. Even though it's a grand playhouse, it's supposed to be lively, there are certain uh, aura of awareness or wariness Mm. hanging in the air. You can see people coming and going as they please. Mm Mm-hmm. So right. I'll try okay. to head in then. All right. So you head in. What's that? Do I see any? F- Sorry. Uh, before I head in, like uh, the tracks I'm following. Where are they heading? Like behind the playhouse or through the front or where the tracks are going? It seems to be going towards the playhouse, but okay. Let's see. <laughs> we did that. Investigation. All right. So your investigation leads to okay halfway towards the grand playhouse. You notice the stain, the yellowish brown stain, mm-hmm. uh, has been slowly disappearing from the track. But you notice some semblance of the track on the dirt road heading towards the play, the grand playhouse. All right, so going in through the front entrance. All right. One other thing that you notice at the front entrance of the Grand Playhouse, there is a big rug that pe- the patrons usually clean their boots off before going into the Grand Playhouse. <clears throat> it seems to be like a, a tradition or the norm. And people willingly uh, clean their boots by stomping. Mm. All right. If that's the case, I'll do the same thing and hit in. Alright, so you went in. And let's try and uh, eyeball the place, see if I can see the guy. Okay, you're eyeballing the place. Yeah, so perception was it? Perception, please. Oh, not 20. Who? All right. Um, it is a well lit uh, grand playhouse. Since this is the first time you are there, you are here. Since you just you came to town, I think the first this is the first time you entered this venue. Mm-hmm. That's true. Uh, is this lively? Uh, some people are talking to the the hosts and hostess uh, inside the playhouse. Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, you do not notice anyone that resembles what you have mm, noticed before, the person of interest that you are following. But you notice somebody that seems to be calling the shots. A lady? Was... Yes, it is. Let's see, what was her name again? Uh, where's the handout person of interest? Uh, mm, oh, yes, handout. No, that's not it. It's notable person, lady in playhouse. The beautiful lady. Oh, waifu. Oh, this is not the one with the name. Is it? 
thought I thought well was... you 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 notice this person seems to be calling the shot because the the bouncers or the person the burly man that seems to be ensuring order is followed into this sometimes <laughs> when she walk past them nodded in respect mm, okay you know what? Uh, uh, um, mm, I'm going to go up to her and say hello. Pay my respects and stuff. And you came to her. Okay, your perception is still on. You notice that that she seems to be yeah she she is well dressed and seems to be casually dressed, mm. but doesn't seem she seems to be dressed like. Uh, a bar, sort of like a barmaid or like a waitress or something, mm-hmm. but it's very clean, as if it's just like a facade. Mm, okay. Like, like she's part of the the bar crew or the waitress, but she d- doesn't seem to have the stain that usually is associated with carrying food or wine, mm. or there's no stain. So. Oh, hey. Sorry, okay. Yeah. Oh, and then she noticed you moving towards her. Right, and then I'll say, "Hello there. I I, I can't help notice, but are you the one in charge in this place?" Oh, my lady, you are so perceptive. Uh, I'm just a host. Oh, yeah. Really? Anything now? that 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 you have, you need to have this at the the Grand Playhouse. Will try to appease to your needs. Ooh. Whatever that may be. All right. Mm. Um, if that's the case, um. All right. Sorry for bothering you. Um, I, I give my hand out to do a handshake, or a kiss, something like that. He seems to curtsy to you. All right. Um, if you don't mind me asking, is there an opening here? Opening for mm, a job, a job opening. Hmm. Well, well, we. Well, I cannot say much. Maybe I can have your reference give be given to our recruiters. Oh yes. Um. <laughs> um. How how do I give it? Like, do I have to go for an interview and whatnot? Of course, you need to have a. Re- we need to have a resume. Well, I'm Anna, by the way. Any Anna. and may I know your name? Ah oh, yes, they call me Liliana. Liliana, Liliana, <laughs> Liliana. Well, West. well, well met, Liliana. <clears throat> so, uh, do you have any position in mind? Well, um, <laughs> you know, I'm mostly an adventurous type. Um, I don't mind taking down. Two men's in one go and whatnot. <laughs> If you know, catch my case. <laughs> right. Well, I will keep that in mind, and I will tell my employer about your interests. Uh, is there any way for for us to reach you in case we will be interested in? Um, usually, I. How about this? I'll come back here in a few days' time. Well, I think just uh, set an appointment, and we will be preparing ourselves to have you. Alrighty then. Um, who do I talk to for this appointment? I can take your details and relay the information to our recruiters. Ah, alrighty then. Um, I'll give the information to you. So uh, by this time, I'll. Just say my name, and then uh, I'll be staying at the Tiger Fort Inn for a bit. Uh, if anything, just send the note to Lionel or whoever it is. Okay, your name is Liliana. Yep. All right. So, Tiger Fort Inn. Uh, sure. Uh, I will pass your information. All right. Thank you very much. Will that be all, my lady? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. And with that, I'll do the whole, you know, a uh, girl thing like hug and kiss. Ooh, SOP. <laughs> Not in this world. <laughs> no, 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 just, yeah, okay. 
and then she she just uh curtsy and and so give you she doesn't <laughs> um stop me from doing it nope all right give me a second and yep there you go stop us in oh no DC for Tina. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Feels. All right. Wow. Ayo, 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 yo. Dang, da, da. Okay. Yeah. As soon as you do that. Mm -hmm. She seems to stifle a bit. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Uh, well, nothing. She she seems to collect herself and seems to be moving away from you. Oh, well, nothing. I think our business here is is done. Yes, yes. I'll and, see. And you. can you roll a perception, please? Perception roll. Oh god, six! Yay! Finally. <laughs> okay, uh, she just moved slightly away from you and trying to maintain a calm demeanor. Calmly says that, and then. Well, uh, we'll see you in several days' time. Alrighty then. I'll see you later then. Good day. Farewell. I'll hit. Ah, uh, boy, it's like I don't know this. I don't know the layout of this place, so I can't really sneak into anything. Uh, is there any place that I can sneak into? It's quite an open space. Because there are lots of entertainment and, and lots of mingling around. And it's quite an open space. Any nooks and crannies seems to be occupied by one of the bounces anything around the kitchen area the kitchen area is a bit uh, away from the hubbub in order to preserve the the ambience of the playhouse mm -hmm. you don't you are not sure where the kitchens are to be honest even with there the are, high perception there, there are drape oh. no there are drapes uh, covering here and there and people seems to be coming in and out from behind this drapes that seems to be strategically located around the the grand area, the right. the open area. I'll head down away from Lady Anna, out of her sight, and then I'll mm -hmm. find one of the guards or the bouncers. <clears throat> you seem to notice uh, Anna is re looking at you intently. All right, so she's eyeballing me. Eyeballing me. Yes. All right, I head to the bar. And I meet the bartender. Mm -hmm. Hello there. And, and this seems to be a, a strapping man. This seems to be doing, uh, like a very pleasing to the eye and very well positioned and skilled this in would be, preparing cocktails. This would be a bed? Hmm? This would be a bed? You do not know. Alright. I'll take a look at the bartender and him doing his work. Alright. He is very intent in preparing drinks because the, the order seems to be flowing, hmm. literally. And uh, he's, he's very busy. I'll clap my hands and say, Wow, that's very impressive. Mm -hmm. Okay. He just smiled at you and then... Ah, hi. Um, what can I get you? Uh, it seems to be quite a busy day today. I know, and it's just the afternoon. Do you, who are you surfing? Is this place busy? No, right? Like I said, there there are quite lots of people mingling around. 
okay. and some of some of the the bartender i mean the the waitress seems to be picking up the drinks to be served on the upper floors mm-hmm. okay all right so let's see all right um you could get me a glass of wine please Sure. What would you have? The thirteen forty two. Ah, do you have anything from twenty forty two? Surely you just. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, anything that's good. Sure. This. Well, you want to have the pre cat pre cataclysm or <laughs> pre cataclysm? That's rare. Nah, too rich for my blood. Something more than error. Sure. Um, we will have this, this fine rose, rose. Uh, this fine rose scented wine from. It just came from, from, outside of here. It seems to be the rage nowadays. I see. Would you I like see. to some, try some? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right. Then, he put you uh, a. Something that seems to be sparkly. Hmm. So sparkling drink. while he does that, I'm going to ask yeah. him. Um, if you don't mind me asking, have you seen anyone round with a missing ear? Well, <laughs> well, everyone who is missing something usually comes here to be to feel cool. Ah, that's true. <laughs> But I mean, like literally, like he is physically missing an ear. Oh okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, we do have some one or two. Oh, I see. Um, anyone dis- uh, by this this anyone by that description just came in? Well, we don't give out personal information of our of our clientele. Oh please, it would be really important for me to know. Okay, and still, we value privacy. Mm. Like like for example, if there's someone. Who wants to know if there is a person, a young lady that seems to be talking and asking about somebody who's missing an ear around? We are obliged not to say anything about you. That is true. That is true. Could I persuade him to well give me a something at least? Sure. Try persuasion. All right. Roll. Twenty-three. Ooh. I mean, I'm I'm really looking for this person. He's well. Let's just say that he's he has something of mine. <coughs> Zero. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Macam mana? Suddenly, roll twenty ni kadang dia play escape. Like, like, like it's yeah. rolling for DF. What's DF? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rolling for. It's auto fail. It's auto fail. Very persuasive, eh? Yeah. Yes. Jonah was too cute. <laughs> you mean Liliana? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, what you can say is, if you are missing something, we you can say what it is, and we will have. Our own internal investigation mm. and investigators. He seems to steal a glance at one of the bouncers or bodyguards. Can I take a good look, see at them? Like, what are they wearing? How are they? Like, if they go out, like, are they noticeable? Be the same and whatnot. They seem to be well dressed. Uh, seems to be. Looks to be casual, but can you roll a uh, perception? Let's see if this works. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. Well, they are very well cut, casual clothes. Any tattoos? Doesn't seem to be. Uh, they are full covered. It's like the the shirts they are they are wearing as a long sleeved. Mm. Uh, it's a very well cut and tailored to each individual. 
Mm, okay. So, outside we got no idea then. All right. Hmm. Okay. So if that's the case, um, I'm going to drink my wine and then head off. Um, how much is for the wine? Oh, this is a very special import. I see. Yeah, uh, it's easily can cost anyone for two dollars for two gold. Two oh. gold. Yeah, but since well. you, I think you're new here. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll just say it's just for one goal. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're too kind. I'll pay the guy one goal and I head out. Okay. As you are heading out, we'll go to Shadow. Mm. Shadow, <laughs> you yeah. have been, you have been observing, and I think by now there's about eight of the acolytes that has been uh, forming straight lines uh, near the bucket place. They seem to be also talking among themselves, uh, but seems to be muttering. And the crowd seems to have been uh, also assembling or mingling around because of the 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 red ropes are quite an attraction that attracts the people's attention, and now they seem to be milling around in order to see as if expecting some arrival. All right, I do remember that. Uh, Cap the Commander Lenovo told us that uh, yesterday that they wanted to supply the Templars, right? Mm -hmm. So, I would like to get out of the pot. I'm just trying to roam a bit further from the main caravan ground to see if there's anything happening around so you want to move yeah, away the from the, so yeah. you want to move away from where people are, eh? Uh, yeah, I mean go out of the main gate and through the caravan grounds towards oh. the main road. All right. So do you do it right now? Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll try to make them. And I try to be not suspicious. Okay. Just heading out of town. So, um, you went out of town and 